it's nice they do give you this little template showing you where to put your screws for mounting this thing which is nice so you put a hole in them first and then mark through them Okay, this little power brick thing here, this doesn't look like it's weatherproof, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so this wireless access point, this is really impressive to me. The, uh, the distance it throws that signal was substantial, um, but also being able to have it outdoors is nice. So right now, obviously, I've got it kind of inside a little protected from the elements for testing, but we will be able to take this thing and uh, put it on the outside of the barn here, higher up, which will give us even more coverage for the Wi-Fi. Um, so right now we have Wi-Fi coverage everywhere outside where we're normally doing stuff, which is impressive. Uh, the setup wasn't terrible. You do want to make sure you use the instructions because you do have to log into the thing and tell it what you want it to be. You know, because there's different modes it can do. I've just got it acting like a Wi-Fi access point, but there's mesh systems you can set up, repeaters and stuff like that. So it can repeat this signal down the line to multiple uh, Wi-Fi access points. Okay, I am about, oh, we'll call it about 600 feet from the barn as the crow flies. And uh, we're going to boot up a speed test here and see what kind of speed we get out here. Uh, right on the edge of the woods. Yeah, so we're cooking pretty good for how far away we are from, uh, from the barn. Okay, so that's what we know. We got about 600 feet of range with that thing inside the barn. I mean, that is impressive. 